Well, thanks for joining me today. Uh, this is not going to be like a giant exploring. Well, yeah, it's going to be an exploring day. It's not going to be like a, a super awesome metal detecting hunt. I'm out in the woods uh, looking for a cave that uh, we're going to come back to in a few days. Me, uh, hopefully Rob, and the guys from uh, some some of the guys and gals from my grotto because we want to map it and get it registered uh, as being a really cool cave. Uh, you've already seen. Yeah, I already did a video. It's called the uh, Bear Pit or Bear Pit of Death or something. I can't remember what I called it, but. Um, I just want to go over there right now to make sure everything's still cool and the uh, entrance isn't collapsed or there's no giant bear in there or anything. So, but after that, and I'll show you that video, I'll show you that when I get there. What we're going to do is I'm going to drive and check out at least three sinkholes that I know about that are right along the road. Well, two of them are. And uh, I looked at one about a week ago. I just very brief, briefly, it was almost dark. And it was uh, looked like it had sunk down a bunch, and it might go back into a nice cave. Now, I originally found that sinkhole back in probably the early 90s when I worked for the health department. I was on a nuisance complaint <laughs> about people, or some people, some somebody had been dumping dead deer into a sinkhole right along the edge of the road. And this sinkhole is really cool because it is really close and it goes under the road, kind of like uh, the slick cave, except it's a little bit more dangerous. Uh, I called the state road, uh, state highway department. They came out and filled it in with rocks. Uh, last year, went by, looked at it, and it sunk back down again. A little bit of cave there. It didn't really go anywhere. Not sure if I did a video. Um, if I did, it was just a short one. But we're going to check out one out because it looks like it sunk down a lot more. And I'm going to check another one out I saw in the woods when I was driving by a park. I looked down and I could see it because there's a little bit of snow on the ground. I ran over it real quick, and it has a hole in the bottom, but um, I didn't have a flashlight, and again, it was right almost dark, because it was actually on my way home. So we're going to look at that one. That's number two, and the third cave, or sinkhole we're going to look at, is one I saw from the Interstate, uh, Interstate 80, Interstate 70. I was headed toward, you know, Baltimore, Washington, and uh, I looked down off to the side where they're putting in this uh, industrial complex in the woods, I saw a sinkhole so we're gonna pop down there and look at that I did look at it briefly <laughs> but I didn't have a flashlight and that was about a month ago maybe two months ago I don't think I did a video on that one either because I wasn't prepared I was actually headed somewhere else so uh, we're gonna do those three at least today maybe some more Brown's actually not bad over here at my house it's white still with snow but we're a little ways away so this is diggable all right uh, let's go check out the first cave then we're going to hit the road, and we might see some amazing things. At least I hope so. All right, uh, one more hill. Up of that away somewhere. This is an old, you can see this is an old road right here. This could have been a very old pre-Civil War road or logging road. I suspect it's pretty old. Uh, but the cave we want to look at is up, actually up there, not too far off the top. I quit yakking and getting out of breath, too. I've been hiking for about 20 minutes, so. But we're almost there. So this is the one that we're going to come to in a few days. It actually does not have a name. I've been calling it the bear pit or the bear trap because down inside there, there's a big pit with bear bones in the bottom. So uh, we're going to come back here in a few days and look at that. Bear pit, bear trap, not sure, but probably one of the two. Got some tracks coming in and out of it. I don't see any bear tracks, but... Uh, there's some fox here for sure. This is another entrance to it over here. I explored. They do connect, but you can't really get through it. Uh, I've been down in there and explored it. And it kind of curves back around. You see a lot more animal tracks over here. So maybe that's where the raccoons live. But we're not going to have to go in that entrance. So we're going to go in the big main one here down to the pit. All right. So on the road we go. I'll probably get back to you in about an hour. It's going to seem like a second, but it'll be an hour for me at least. i got to hike out of here, get in the truck, and head across county. We'll see you in a little bit. I haven't actually gotten in the truck yet. I'm still hiking back to it. There's a series of neat sinkholes here that have a cave in it that we're going to also explore. So I thought I'd just show them to you as well. I was going to skip it. I, already, I did make a video on this cave. Um, a year or so ago. If you look right in there, there's a sinkhole. 
and there's a sinkhole on the side of the hill which is actually kind of curious and there's a big sinkhole here the cave itself I think it's just curious how it like it's not in the bottom but it's going up the side of the hill and around but the cave itself is actually up that way we'll swing by and take a quick peek since we're here um, yeah quick peek be quiet all right beautiful day to be out I wish I brought my metal detector really the ground is completely thawed it's very limited snow not like back at home all right let's go look at this other cave so this is the ravine right here uh, right above us there's a pond but when it overflows it comes down through here dumps into this hole and but it originally used to dump into this hole and there's a cave in there i've been from here down uh you know maybe to that big tree right so that one that's leaning across maybe walk that far a little bit more and the sinkholes we were just at just right around the corner um the neat thing about this cave is it got too small for me to go through but we could dig it out easy enough and if i had a rover this is where i got a lot of interest in people working with me to try to get a little tiny rover to put in there we could see what's in it because there is a, definitely a passage that goes back flat bottom so it'd be easy to roll one back in there so still working on that <laughs> actually getting pretty close so uh, if we do get one we'll we'll definitely do that cave all right up the hill oh you look at this i'm gonna stay a mile away from it these uh vines with the things all over it that's poison like poison oak or poison ivy or poison something something that's what i cut last year and really had a lot of problems so as long as you don't cut it you're fine all right into the truck drive 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 in about 40 minutes we'll talk again so we finally made it to the other sinkhole i want to show you it's actually been several hours i stopped by to see my buddy rob and we talked for a while um he reminded me that it's actually valentine's day today so i forgot all about it Shh. anyway check this out see the edge of the road right here and if we go over here just a little bit is a cool sinkhole now this is the one that when i worked for the health department i had to come investigate uh because it was filled with dead deer <laughs> look at that look at that isn't that awesome and over here so i went down here a while ago and uh, well about a year ago and it didn't really go very far but i'm gonna pop down there real quick just to see if it's more open uh, than it was then because it looked like it kept going but you can tell it goes right under the road look from here <laughs> right up to my truck you can see my truck parked right there all right so we're gonna pop down and i told rob i was over here by the way so i feel pretty good about it um he knows right where we're at let's turn the light down there see what we can see hold on a second oh dude it definitely drops down further than it used to um you can see this ledge here it's kind of not too bad but there's a hole down below it so we're going to be really careful but we're going to slip in this other side here and just to see if it keeps going if it keeps going we'll come back with some ropes and a couple buddies what do you say all right here we go there's some kids had a rope here boy i tell you um a little bit careful here um hmm. all right i'm gonna go ahead and slide down in here i guess looks like there's a little landing pad right there it goes off to the side and drops down some more i see some broken glass and stuff so we'll have to be a little bit careful i hope we don't go forever <laughs> a school bus ah i thought it's a raccoon so the shadows moving i thought it was a raccoon looking at me uh, I just saw a school bus go by. All right, here we go. Hold on. Oh, I'm get muddy. Look at this. Can get situated here. 
these big round rocks that we're looking at are the ones the state road dumped in 20, 30 years ago, back when I used to work over here. I guess that's probably putting close to 25, but I don't think it's gonna really go any go very far in this cave. That's the, what they call rip wrap that they dumped in. And the road is actually right up there. I mean, this is underneath the road. That's where they filled it in, filled it in. And um I thought I was hoping that maybe went a little further than that, but it doesn't. I might be able to dig it up, but we're not gonna dig on this cave since it's right under the road. Yep, this is washed down here when it rained, coming down that way right there. Some old plastic bottles there, a couple little beer bottles. I was my asshole from the road. Jeez. They're dripping. Okay, we're gonna head on. Look at the crickets. Cave crickets. Or I think they're also called camel crickets. Pretty cool, aren't they? Lots of them in here. Nice. All right. Hopefully I'll be able to get out of here, climb back up there. And then we're going to stop at one more sinkhole for sure on the way home. And that's probably about it because I'm going to run out of time here. I want to get home before my wife does. <laughs> Since it's Valentine's Day. <sighs> oh, this is going to be a mess. Absolute mess. All right. I'm going to turn the light off. We'll see you on top. That was an ugly climb. Wow. Between the snow and the ice and the mud. Ah. Oh, Jig's muddy again. This rope used to be a little longer. That would have helped a lot. All right, let's get out of here. We can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just so weird right along the road like that. Yeah, so we were right in that one, this one. We probably came to about in here on the road and some rip wrap there so that's probably where one of the sinkholes was at one time Whew. to the rig the jig rig driving down this road right here um a while back and i could see a sinkhole down here so i came down and explored it well I came down here to look at it and there's really not much here so i walked around a little bit more in the woods and there's a better one back there that we're gonna go look at right now but i'll just show you this one first as i'm 99 sure uh i did not take my camera with me when i came down here. so that's the road right up there and a lot of the washout stuff comes down through here and goes into this sinkhole and you can see that's been filled in over the years with barbed wire and trash and i'm gonna take you back deeper into the woods and uh show you a sinkhole and i got a flashlight with me today so we can actually look inside of it I hope <laughs> if I can find it again. Actually, I know it's, I know right where it is. It's got the kind of bebop down through the woods here. Yeah. Pretty sure it was straight back. You see there's like a trail cutting out that way. That's actually a deer trail. But we're not interested in deer trails today. All right, maybe this is it. This is the sinkhole. I see a sinkhole here. This is probably the one I'm looking for. All right, so we're not very far away. Again, you can see the highway right up there. And I didn't have a flashlight. Eh, I don't know if this is the one or not. Either It's either this one or there's another one right over in there. Let's look in this one first. You can see that some type of animal definitely goes down in it. Probably an old raccoon, I guess. You know, an old bow. <laughs> yeah, there's a raccoon in here for sure, man. Got all the tracks, fresh tracks too. Yes, uh, this, this is probably the one I was looking at. Kind of take a look down in there. You see, it's, you see why I wanted to come back. Um, nice dark hole. Can't tell how big it is though. So let's get the old flashlight out. Put some light on the subject. You ready? Oi. <laughs> well, shoot. It uh, definitely goes down a ways. It's a raccoon in there. You can see it's all smooth right in here. So definitely one comes in and out of it. I'd say it's worth maybe checking out. Um, I'm going to try to stick the camera down in there a little bit further to see if we can see anything. But I don't have high hopes uh, without having a light with the camera itself. But let's try that. You ready? I'm going to stick you down in there. Uh, my 
a little bit shaky to say about that. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see up in there or not. I can't really tell if that goes anywhere or not up that direction. I'm very interested about behind me too though, so I'm gonna bring you back up and turn you around. Flip you upside down. Alright, you ready? <laughs> Hope this works. Okay, here we go. Another little interesting spot too. You can see this is an old sinkhole. See all the rocks they threw in here? There's a hole there and there's a raccoon been coming in and out. So let's go ahead and check it. Not too far from the Oh boy. Boy. Wow. Now that my friend is promising. Um, yeah, you probably missed all that, but that is actually really promising. Look at that. Way down there, too. Way down there. Oh, that might be worth kind of poking around a little bit later. Not today, but wow. That one's probably worth looking at again later on. For sure. You can see this is the area right here. It's all these rocks. That's where they threw the rocks in to fill the hole in. That's pretty cool right there. Look at this raccoon trail in the snow. I did show you these sinkholes in another video a while back. <laughs> Man, that's a well-worn path right there. I seem to remember there was actually a hole. That's the little one there he's going in and out of, but it's not much to it. That was it. Maybe it was this one. Huh. Now well, it's... Back in there. Let's check this with a light real quick. I, I think I had a flashlight when I came to this one. Oy. Yeah, just a little groundhog size hole in there. But he's going in there a lot. Look, here's where he comes out this side. I think we're missing something. That's just a hole. I wonder if there's something up in there I'm not seeing, because that is a really well-worn hole, well-worn trail right there. Probably not. <laughs> Pop down in here and look again, just to make sure. Nah. Just a big old sinkhole. Let's go see where he's coming from, though. Or going to, because he's, he's doing something right here. Might be another sinkhole or cave over here. Let's see what he does. Up following these little paths. You can see he comes around here, hits this log, disappears. So I'm assuming he goes this way. You see it's kind of muddy, 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 muddy. Jumps off here. And he's going out this direction. That way you can see the mud on the snow. Up on that log. He's probably going over to that other sinkhole that we were just at. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off. I'll follow it, and uh, I but I suspect that's where it goes. I'll also look up in the trees to see if there's any raccoons up there looking at me. I turned the camera back on. That's where he came down through here. It looks like he jumped up on these logs. See there's mud on the snow, and he can't this way. I might be heading to a nest in one of these trees, you know, a den tree. This way, this way, nope. That's an old one right there. 
So I'm pretty sure he's probably headed right over to that, back to that sinkhole that we were at. And if you look here, there's a trail going out that way. That's a deer. This is different though. This is a raccoon. Yeah, he's headed right back over there. Up on a log. A little series of sinkholes here. One up there. Uh, looks like he yeah, he's still on here. You can see the mud on the snow, mud on the snow. This way, oh, he went down here. So that's probably just a hole. Um, he went up this log. Look, you can see the mud on the top. This is where he goes. Down this way. Maybe he'll lead us to another treasure. <laughs> he's leading us right back to that hole that I want to look at later. Right across the top of the log. Pops off here. Trail picks up in the mud. On mud mud. And that's right where we looked at a few minutes ago. And this is a sinkhole that's been filled in. It goes off this way. Probably to the other sinkhole we already looked at. But you know what we need to do? Is see where he goes after that. He's taking us to all the local caves. He's quite the little uh, tour guide, isn't he? Cave guide. I like it. Uh, Alright, I lost him. Uh, kind of lost him. Right here, you can see the mud, mud, mud. I don't know if he pops up on here. I can see some tracks. I'm afraid he might be going up that way too. So he might have split the trail. That's probably it right here. And it's going back to that sinkhole that we just looked at too. So... You see the difference between a deer trail and a raccoon trail. You see this is very smooth. It's just like padded down all the leaves. And you get on deer trail, it'll be all cut up by the hoods. It'll be like really jagged. I'll show you that when we cross it again. Alright. So we're following the raccoon. And this is a deer trail. You see how it's all cut up. You can see the tracks. This is really, really rough. You can see the raccoon trail right here is coming across. Going that way. Pitter patter of little feet, little soft feet, and it dumps down into the sinkhole that we just looked at a few minutes ago. That looked pretty interesting. Now, what I'm doing is looking around to see where he went from here. Not seeing a well worn trail, so that means he may have uh, just like branched out in a different direction from here. Um, there's some mud over here. See, he comes up here, there's a trail going up that way. That's where that other sinkhole was. A little bit of a trail going that way. So yeah, I don't think he's going any place in particular once he left here. Not well worn, not a well worn path. So we're gonna give up. And I wanna check this part of the woods out down here because I've never been down here. Um, at least not in a long, 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 long time. So I'm just gonna wander. I wanna wander through here, down through here. And I'll let you know what I find. This little area behind me is kind of neat. This is a test plot and what they do they fence off a small section of the woods with a really high fence that the deer can't get in to see what the woods would look like if there weren't deer eating all the vegetation. And if you notice, uh, well, let me just show you. Look how many little bushes and stuff are in there and how much thicker the brush is than it is out here. Uh, might not really show up on the camera, but it, whoa, there's another sinkhole, dudes. <laughs> but it really does, uh, there really is a lot more brush in there. So that will tell the scientists that the deer um, are keeping this woods from being uh, natural, like it should be. And of course, the reason I say natural is because there's too many deer here. There's no real predators except for people, so. And uh, they don't uh, hunt them much right where I'm standing. Nice sinkhole, you can see this has been filled in with the rocks. Don't see any signs of raccoons, don't see any sign of like melted snow. You know, in another day, it might be worth digging out, but certainly uh, not with what we have uh, discovered already today in other places. All right, so what do you say? A little bit more walking. Let's go up through here. My battery's about dead, so I'm gonna have to turn you off and uh, we'll get a fresh one out of the truck if we need it. Well, that's all for today. I guess I better get home before the wife. Well, it's Valentine's Day that I forgot about. Oh. I didn't get me anything either. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Till I go to sleep. 
She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no 